Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm the art teacher from Art Projects for Kids. I do hope it becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step art lessons. In today's drawing video, I'd love to show your students how to draw a toucan. Their long beaks are just too much fun to color in. Let me show you how. Now the first thing to do is to gather your art supplies, which are pretty simple. Drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. There's also a matching tutorial that you can download from my website. And before you begin to draw, it's really helpful to take a minute to create some guidelines on your paper. All you have to do is fold and crease your paper in half in both directions. You'll have lines that match my tutorial, which really do help you see where to put your pencil. Step number one. The first thing to draw is a really large branch right here, so the bird has something to sit on. Start with one curved line that goes from fold line to fold line. Work slowly so you have a nice smooth line. Then when you're done, add another curved line underneath it. Step number two. The bird body starts with a curve shape that's going to look like this. It's flat on top, then comes down and tucks in near the branch. Step number three. The left side of the bird lines up with the top and then has a little bit of curve for the belly. It's kind of like a backwards S that's stretched out a little bit. Step number four. Okay, the giant beak that toucans are famous for is going to start here and then extend all the way to the left, almost to the edge of the paper. You can start with a straight line, then add the top, and then the bottom of the beak. Notice that it does dip down a little bit on the end. Step number five. To add some definition, add a line inside the beak like this. Then when you're done, add a couple of pairs of stripes on the top side. I'm drawing two pairs and a little line for the tip. Notice I'm making them a little bit curved so the beak looks round. Step number six. Now for that big toucan eye. Draw a nice round circle here that's about the size of a half dollar or so. It does seem that my first lines here were a little bumpy, so I'm going to smooth them out a little bit before I go further. But when I'm done, then I'm adding another smaller circle inside. Step number seven. Now comes the shape for that white space that's going to go around the eye. Start at the top of the head, come down almost halfway, and then back up to the beak line. Now the toucan's tail is pretty small and it gets added right underneath the branch. Then some very simple feet need to be added. Draw two like this with pointy claws at the bottom. And when you're done, erase the lines inside the feet. Step number eight. The next thing to do is to fill in the space to the right of the bird with a large branch. Start with two lines, then add a small branch on the right side and another small one on the left. Notice that all of them go right to the very edge of the paper. Now I'm adding some leaves in the space that's left over. A large one can go right here. These are all going to have the same shape with a spine and some V shapes inside. And a long skinny leaf can go right here. Don't forget to add the lines inside this one as well. Then a big leaf below the branch. This one can be pointing down a little bit. Now a large one can be added on the left side. This one can even be going off the page. And there's room for another leaf on the right side of this. And finally, a big leaf below the branch. The goal is to just fill in the space around the toucan so things look kind of balanced out. Feel free to add more leaves wherever you want. Step number nine. Okay, it's tracing time. Use a black marker to go over all those pencil lines. And it's always good to work slowly so you can stay right on top of them. When the tracing is done, it's always a good idea to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. Step 
I'm starting my coloring by using my black marker for a moment. It will work really great for that eye, which is getting a white spot, by the way. I'm also going to use it to fill in the tip of that beak. Both of these shapes are really small and need to look really black, so the marker works great for that. Next, the toucan body has a lot of black, but I'm going to switch over to a black crayon for that. It will leave a little more texture and blend in with the other crayon colors better too, I think. A body colored completely with black marker might be just a little too dark. Now there are lots of ways to color a toucan beak, but I'm going to start with a golden yellow for the lower part. And one of the stripes I think is also going to get filled in with that color. Then a peach color for the first beak section. And a light yellow for the next section. I'm going to use a red crayon for the next stripe and then an orange one to finish things off. To add some color to that eye, a light green is going to go around that black circle. Now for coloring the background, I'm going to start with a light yellow green for the leaves. There are quite a few of them, so make sure you don't overlook any. Now it's time to color in that branch. I'm going to make mine brown, but I suppose you could make it green or even black. It's up to you. I'm sure tropical trees and plants come in all different kinds of colors. And one last touch for my toucan, I'm going to make some gray feet. And finally, some careful coloring of the background. I like this medium shade of green. It looks like a jungle color to me, and it won't blend in with those leaves. And there is a finished toucan drawing. I think the fun part is deciding how to color it in. Whether you are drawing a real one or make-believe, there are just so many coloring options. If you had fun with this tutorial, please check out my website, Arch Projects for Kids, for more fun bird tutorials like how to draw a parrot and how to draw a hummingbird. Thanks for coming and I hope to see you again here soon.